Alrighty, I got a construction update for you guys today. So as you can see on the screen, the drill has arrived on site. So this is the drill bit that is going to drill those uh, 10 to 12 footings uh, in Elpen. Um, if you watched the podcast last night, I definitely dropped some tea. Um, on top of that, um, it's becoming very obvious what this coaster is going to do in the Elpen area. Um, it's becoming very obvious what's going on inside the mound with the restructuring with those W beams. Um, so very, very curious and shocked about how big this project is going to turn out to be um, because it's looking really big. And I'm telling you, I actually took out the footage out of respect for the park. Um, but I did capture something on the drone. I, I captured a big Cedar Fair visit uh, to the park. Um, and I was going to put it in and just to show who was there and what they were showing um, because it was very telling. But then I thought that was a little disrespectful and I didn't want to post that in the video. So unfortunately, I have made the decision to cut um, the Cedar Fair visit to this area out of the video um, out of respect for the park and just because I did find it too revealing. Um, but with that being said, um, the footing equipment has arrived. Um, from what I'm hearing, construction is going to start on Monday, Tuesday. Um, it will be a longer process. Nothing too exciting is going to happen. Uh, again, they're just drilling these massive holes in the ground. They'll put the, the rebar in um, and, and that. So on Monday, Tuesday, it will be exciting that it's starting, but it won't be anything super, super, super telling. Um, all the action is going on inside the mountain. So with that being said, they are gutting the mountain. When I tell you gutting the mountain, it's an understatement. They are gutting the mountain down to removing some structural pieces, down to throwing out old ride parts like old vortex um, restraints, wind seeker parts, um, old metal detectors, all that jazz. It is in the garbage. It means nothing to the park anymore. Um, and it is being carted out of that park. So they are cleaning up the mountain, like really cleaning it down to the bare bones. Um, and yeah, so with that being said, uh, as you can see here, here's them wheeling some old, uh, well, this is like actual rebar and electrical parts and all that. Um, so yeah, it's very interesting um it's looking to be like a very large project and again we don't know is it going to be intamin is it going to be uh premier is it going to be mock is it going to be vacoma who knows it's one of those um so here's the the tunnel tunnel one um a significant tunnel to the project i uh, will talk about that in just a second i don't know why this is here but they are working on the roof in medfair as well oh my goodness i'm all over the map right now i should have edited this pre-edited this <laughs> but there's the drill bit there's the actual drill bit that arrived uh, on site. So that's exciting. Uh, we are up to 12 footings spotted in this area. Um, and uh, based off of some of the footage that I filmed this day that I did not include in this video, uh, it looks like the coaster kind of is going to disappear around Vortex and then come back out the other side. Um, with that also being said, over here at Moosehorn Falls, a lot of action. Oh my goodness, an entire new water main being laid down so that's really interesting to me but even more exciting they have started to put together moosehorn in the parking lot so you guys know that the staircases have been put together um some of the supports but they're putting together the actual slide pieces that you see here so really exciting definitely um in a rush to get that out of the parking lot which makes sense for what's about to come um but over at backlot cafe uh repainting's going on it looks like nothing Exciting, no Ginza Gardens retheme by the looks of it. It looks like they're going to keep the stars on the building. Looks like they're going to keep the ugly backlot theme to it. Ugh. I hate it. I actually am really upset with Wonderland over that decision, but maybe that'll change. Maybe that'll change. Over at the tunnel, they have these weird car protector beams um, installed at the back of uh, the tunnel. Uh, right there, right by uh, where you exit Guardian. That's really interesting to me. Not really sure why they would do that unless, you know, potentially there's going to be a footing in behind there and they don't want a car to hit it. So really curious um, to see if a footing does pop up there. I can't see um, one being there, but those little car protector beams are a little interesting. Um, so uh, we'll keep an eye on that. I don't know exactly why they were installed, but who knows? Let's see. Let's see. Let's see what plays out there. Uh, over here, you can see electrical work going on um, to connect to uh, Tiny Tom's. 
Um, that's what I think that's for. I don't think it's related to the 2025 project, but we'll have to wait and see. Anyways, that's all I have for the construction update uh, for you guys today. Comment down below what you think it's going to be. Do you think it's going to be Intamin, Mock, Premiere? What do you think it's going to be? All right. Thanks so much, guys. Have a good one. Bye.